Hey friends, welcome back to another episode of One Quote Monday, where I talk about my favorite quotes. In this episode, we're diving deep into extreme ownership by Jaco Willink, a retired Navy SEAL, commander, and the definition of a leader. This book is packed with leadership wisdoms and life lessons drawn from Jaco's experience as a Navy SEAL. So let's get started. Now, you might be thinking, SEAL training, leadership, is this gonna be all military jargon that I don't understand? Well, not really. While Jaco speaks on his SEAL experience, this book is great for anyone who wants to level up their lives, whether you're a student, an employee, or an entrepreneur. So what exactly is extreme ownership? It's a concept that Jaco believes that's crucial for success in any aspect of life, not just the military. It's about taking full responsibility of your actions, decisions, and outcomes. In other words, it's about owning your life. Now let's dive deep into some key takeaways from the book. The first and most fundamental principle is taking ownership. In the military, there's a saying, there are no bad teams, only bad leaders. Jaco argues that leaders must take ownership of everything under their command, including their mistakes. Whether you're leading a SEAL team or a corporate team, or even just yourself, taking ownership means acknowledging when things go wrong and not blaming others. It's about saying I screwed up and here's what I'm gonna do to fix it. So what can we learn from this? Well, it's a reminder that in life we often face challenges and setbacks. Instead of pointing fingers, we should look at the mirror first because that's how you learn, grow and ultimately win. Think of it like a SEAL mission. The success of the team depends on everyone taking responsibility, not playing the blame game. The next principle is prioritize and execute. Jaco emphasizes the importance of focusing on the most critical task first, even in the chaos of combat. He argues that leaders should maintain clarity even in the middle of the fog of war. In our daily lives, this means setting clear priorities and avoiding the trap of trying to do everything at once. It's about making tough decisions and allocating your resources, time and energy to what truly matters. The key takeaway here is that the success usually comes down to discipline and effective time management. Prioritizing tasks helps us achieve our goals without feeling overwhelmed. Decentralized command is another critical concept in the book. He argues that leadership should be decentralized, meaning team members at all levels should take initiative and make decisions within their areas of responsibility. This principle encourages empowerment and trust within teams. It allows leaders to focus on the bigger picture, while team members on the front lines make decisions based on their expertise. In our personal lives, this reminds us that we don't have to micromanage everything. We can delegate tasks and trust others to execute them effectively, whether at work or in our personal lives. We all make mistakes, but wallowing in self-pity won't solve anything. Jaco teaches you to identify the problem, assess the situation, and come up with solutions. It's about proactive thinking, not reactive whining. Remember, SEALs don't sit around complaining when things go south. They adapt, overcome, and improvise. Keep it simple is a principle that stresses the importance of simplicity in plans and communication. In the chaos of battle, complicated plans can lead to confusion and failure. In our everyday lives, this principle teaches us to avoid unnecessary complexity. Simplify your goals, plans and communications to ensure effectiveness and clarity. Complexity can be the enemy of progress. By keeping things simple, we can increase our chances of success. Discipline equals freedom is a mantra that Jaco often repeats in the book and later he wrote another book titled Discipline equals freedom which I think was my first one quote Monday video on the channel. He argues that the true freedom comes from the discipline to make the right choices. We want to be free when it comes to our finances. We'd like to have more free time. We basically want freedom in all the various aspects of our lives. But how are we gonna get there? We get there through discipline. If you want to have financial freedom you have to have financial discipline meaning save more, invest more, don't spend money on things you don't need or minimize them. If you want more free time, be disciplined with how you manage your time, your sleep, etc. So discipline isn't a restriction, it's a path to freedom. It empowers us to make choices that lead to a better life. If you like this video, make sure to watch my other One Quote Monday videos as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.